welcome to Stone Magpie for an unboxing, a new to me company that I've had my eye on for a little while, DIY Moon Shop. Yes, I've had a look at their designs and then they had some really good coupon codes in January. Yes, January. I'm going to have a little moan as I undo this packet. <laughs> it's not like me, so don't worry, we'll get back onto the positive vibes very soon. But I ordered this in January, really good coupon code. It does come with a free kit, so there are actually two kits in here, but it's taken eight weeks to get to me. Wow, it's the longest I've ever had to wait. And I did chase up the order and asked um, when it was going to be delivered, and they very kindly did send me a gift card amount for my next order. And I don't know if it was because I bought in January, because they did explain that with the Chinese New Year, there was a bit of a delay. So I'm not quite sure, but I just wanted to make sure that you were aware that it could be a long wait when you order from DIY Moonshot. Let's get back to the positives. We have two diamond paintings. And as I say, I did use a coupon code which gave me a free kit. So I am really excited to explore these kits. I've had my eye on DIY Moonshot for a while because they do do some really beautiful designs. I'm not quite sure which one is which, so should we just dig in? Pot look on this one. Oh, these boxes are a bit different. Okay. I will talk a little bit about the box because it is a new to me company. So we've got DIY Moonshot branding all of the way around it. They are sturdy boxes. There are no dings whatsoever. So really good for gift giving. Or storing your diamond paintings. If you store your paintings in the box. Okay. Oh, I've been looking forward to this for so long, as you can imagine with such, no, I'm not going back to the negatives. <laughs> with such a long wait. Right, that's the last time I'm going to mention it. Am I opening this correctly? There we are, okay. Oh, I'm just too excited. It's like when you've got wrapping paper and I'm just ripping this box apart, trying to get this painting out. <laughs> I'll probably calm down for the next one. Right, we have a protective plastic bag, no branding on it. Let's take the painting out. And right, I just might need to pause a minute because I might need to give you spoiler alerts. Yes, I do, for this kit, Spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. This is the kit that I ordered. This isn't the free kit, this is the one I chose. So I want to make sure that you know I am going to be looking completely around this kit, okay? The kit is a mystery kit and that's why I wanted to add the spoiler alert in, in case you want to do this one yourself. The artist is Carla Gerard. So, and this is painting A. So if you are looking at getting a mystery kit or you've bought this one and you don't want to see what the kit contains, then please don't watch any further. Carla Gerard. What I will do, if you want to see the free kit that came alongside this one, I will chapter it so that you can skip ahead to the next unboxing in this video. All right, hopefully that'll work okay and you won't get any spoilers. So Carla Gerard Painting A is this kit here. Oh, all right, I think I've given enough alerts and things for us to have a good look around this kit. Now I chose Carla Gerard because I really like the paintings that I've seen from her and I expect this one to be bright. It might be little houses, it might be patterns, but I'm expecting it to be bright. Let's see. Of course, being a mystery, it is on a black and white canvas. 
and I'm not sure which way up it goes. So looking at the back of the canvas, it is scalloped with the perforated edges and it has this soft backing to it. It is soft. Okay, I'm not sure which way up this painting goes. So we, uh -huh. I think I'm right because here is the branding on the bottom. And oh, yeah, uh, we'll have a look at the diamonds in a bit and the toolkit. Okay. Can we see? I'm going to have a look through my camera to see if we can see much detail in this one. Um, I can't say that I can actually. Uh, I can see perhaps a semicircle here. But other than that, it really is a mystery. <laughs> yes. I'm just going to fold it very carefully the other way. Just roll it to try and flatten it for you. It's really not too bad. It's not too curled. Whilst I've got it folded up, let's have a look at the, the grid itself. So black and white, capital letters, they look clear. So yeah, I don't think that's going to be a problem at all. They're not fuzzy. The canvas does have a slight sparkle in it. You probably can see that in the edging more than on the canvas itself. Can you see in this corner, that has got a slight sparkle to the canvas. It can be seen more on the edges than on the grid. Okay, looking at the legend down the side, we've got by Carla Gerard. It's a 63 by 50. And because it is a new to me company, I will measure to see how close that is. Legend. So we have got capital letters. We've got the colors. So that does give us a clue because we've got the colour legend rather than a black and white legend. We've got a few numbers, we've got some lowercase letters all the way down. So there we are, capitals, lowercase and numbers. Really clear and there are 36 colours in this kit. And they are square diamonds. Now, I noticed on DIY Moonshop website, the rounds are a lot less money than the squares. And that's another reason why I went for this mystery kit, because they are all squares to make sure that the canvas is completely coloured rather than having rounds with the white showing through in the back. So if you want a square diamond painting from DIY Moonshop, you may well want to go for a mystery and their website does have a coupon tab and there are lots of coupon codes in there. I checked this morning and there's still lots to be grabbed. So you may well want to have a look at that too. Let's have a very quick look at the toolkit that comes along with the kit. So we've got a white funnel tray, always useful having the funnel a slab of pink wax. Now a little pot of pink wax too. Interesting to get both, never had that before. We do have some needle nose tweezers, which I've started using quite a lot for different things. If you watch my videos regularly, you'll see me using these in all sorts of different ways. <laughs> we have a basic diamond pen, which is white with glitter in it. Well, it's sort of translucent white with glitter in it with a small multi-placer at one end and the single placer at the other. I think this one is probably a three placer. However, we do have a bigger one as well. Looks like a 
nine placer to me that one and that's come in a self seal bag so good tool kit oh and a squidgy and a squidgy for your diamond pen you pop that on the end and then it's a comfort grip for your fingers when you're diamond painting so a nice tool kit that one if you're a starter in diamond painting then you've got everything there to get you going and I'm going to say as well, with this kit, you don't necessarily have to have storage either. And I'll tell you why as we look at the diamonds. Oh, right, this might give us some clues, I think. You can see we've got a paper insert, so we'll have a look at that. It's ages since I've done a mystery and I'm really excited. Oh, just to see the whole picture come alive in front of you. Oh, look at that, that's great. Just a square. Now, looking at this, I can see a little bit of detail. Doesn't give it completely away, but that semicircle there is definitely something. I wonder if it's the moon or a sunshine. Okay, I like these paper inserts because you get so much detail. Obviously, just having one bag all the way down <laughs> isn't that much detail. But we do have how many diamonds are in per bag, which is really useful information if you are going to kit up in an Elizabeth Ward style storage. Okay, we also have the DMC numbers. Oh, it's got an AB. Really? Okay, well. Oh, oh, oh. Have we got two L's? I've never seen that before. Let me look at the legend. Oh, we've got two L's. How does that work? Oh no. Um, I'm not sure. I have never, ever come across two L's for different colours. And they've got the same amount of diamonds in. Do you think it's an option? Do you think it's an either or? We might have to look at those diamonds and see the difference. Ooh, right. <laughs> I love new experiences. I really do. <laughs> We may have to discover that one together. Anyway, yes, so we've got the DMC numbers and then we've got the coloured symbol guide here and we've got 1 to 36. Now, what I'm thinking of doing is photocopying this sheet. Now, I may well photocopy it. Mm. Depends how I kit up this one thinking about it because if I'm going to put it into storage boxes, I will photocopy this and then cut those out and stick the symbol onto the boxes. But because they are very neatly in self-seal bags, then I may well work out of the packets, which I did very recently for my Oraloa diamond painting, and it worked really well. So, yeah, food for thought, that one, in what I'm going to do. The first packet I have brought out is the AB packet 742. So I'm going to pop that one aside and see if we can find the equivalent L. <laughs> oh, that's tickled me. I don't know. Anyway, we'll have a quick run through of the colours because I think it's going to give us a bit of clue into what this diamond painting could be. I knew it would be bright. I really, and the bright colours always, always uplift me. And so even though I could work from packets, I may well kit it up just to see these beautiful colours. Uh, I don't know if they're in any particular order, so I'm just going to run through very quickly the colours. 3689, a lovely soft pink. 3733, a pink. 3722, that's sort of a terracotta pink. 898, a brown. 
3685A Cranberry, Dark Cranberry, 902, very similar Cranberry, 823, a Dark Blue, 336, a Brighter Dark Blue, 798, a Mid Blue, and that's quite a puffy pack, 806, a Brighter Blue, 498, a Red, 500, a very, very, very dark forest green. Turquoise 518. Purple 550. Ooh, it's like a putty colour. 3024. 3838. 3363. A lovely spring green. Let's pop those on the canvas, spread out so that we can see the colours. The other L was 783, so let's see if I can spot that one. 793, another mid blue. 797, a really beautiful blue purple. 644, another putty ish colour. 680, a tawny brown. 208, a bright purple. 301, a terracotta brown colour. Oh, look at that big pack. 996 turquoise. Ooh, lovely. 3328 a coral. 3325 a pale turquoise. 900 red. 947 a bright, bright, juicy orange. Wow. 783 is a muted orange. 794 is a mid blue, pale. 318, a big pack of silver grey. 792 is another bright blue. 939, biggest pack I think for dark blue. 168 is a mint green. So, 783. Ah! 783. So these two are the L's symbol. Well, they look quite different, so I'm not quite sure how this works. <laughs> no, no further clue on that one. If anybody knows, please do comment. If you've done a DIY moonshot before and you've come across the same symbol, with different diamonds, please do let me know. I would really appreciate it. Well, oh, I missed one out. Sorry, 413. Was a bit shy, that one stayed in the pack. So there we are, that's like a steel gray. Okay, so are we any further forward? Well, for me, the clue is probably the big pack of very dark blue and that semicircle at the top here. So I am thinking it's going to be a nighttime picture with perhaps a moon with the ABs and then these blues as sky. I don't know though, because we've got this bright turquoise. I think it's going to be some sort of villagey picture at night time. That's my guess, but I'm really looking forward to getting diamond painting this one and finding out more. Really, really good fun doing a mystery. And I am going to do this very soon. I have got the crystal ball diamond painting on the go. However, I'm going to do this one as well. I'm not waiting, in other words. <laughs> right, I'll pack all this one back together and we'll move on to the second kit. As I was packing away, I did take a closer look at this semicircle. If you look here, we have got that band around of the L symbol for that AB or the other L, whichever one. And also, I noticed in this corner as well, 
we've got some sort of circle here. And do you think that looks a bit like an eye there? I'm not sure. I'm really desperately trying to get some clues. It's not giving a lot away. <laughs> okay, before I pop it away, I'm going to do a quick measure as I promised. So it's supposed to be a 63 by 50 centimeter. So going along here, it is a 63. And going down the way, I would say 49 and a half, so not too bad at all. And I did want to have a quick look at the diamonds to see how well they line up as well. So I've chosen two packets. I've got a bright orange and the dark blue. Get the tray back out. Let's have a look at the dark color first. Oh, now then, static in the bags. So I will have to put some, in fact, I think that means I'll either put some dryer sheets in the bags or I may well kit up after all. Okay, let's have a closer look. Mm, it's quite hard to tell because they are staticky. Look, it's even sticking to my finger. I'm just going to try a different diamond painting tray. Okay, I've got my diamond art club tray here and hopefully it won't be as staticky as this little tray. We'll be able to see the diamonds how they sit properly. Oh yes, they are jumping. Okay, that's better. Right, they are sparkly and they are, the majority of them are sitting close together. There are some that are not, and I'm not sure if that's because of the static or whether they're not quite square. Let's try the bright ones instead and have a close look at those. At least by opening these packs, I've realized that I need to do a job before I start diamond painting with them and get this static out. Right, let's hope that these ones are not so bad. Mm, they are sticking to the side. They are jumping a bit. Thankfully, they're not really huddling together. You know when your diamonds stick together and you have to prise them apart? Thankfully, they're not doing that. Right. Okay, so here we can see the sparkle, really nice sparkle to them. Again, some are not sitting square square. I am very, very fussy though when it comes to my squares. So I would pull a couple out. I would probably pull that one out there. And there is one here as well that I would pull out. So hopefully there are lots and lots of diamonds that we can be fussy about and pull the ones that are not sitting quite right. But overall, I think these diamonds are good. Shame about the static. We'll see what happens when I diamond paint it. Let's move on to the second kit which was a free kit and let's hope I don't ruin the box. <laughs> Maybe, um, I don't know, I don't know if it's me but I'm not quite sure how these boxes are supposed to open. I'm 
supposed to lift it out like oh, my, oh. <laughs> oh like that silly me <laughs> oh well never mind right here we are oh it's a diddy box it's a diddy box oh right okay what is this Got a bag. Oh wow! It's like a reusable shopping bag. The Artist Collective by DIY Moon. On one side, there's like um, a diamond in the corner with a pull string. How do I do this? Do I stuff it in there? Does it go in there? Surely that doesn't fit in that. Oh, I'll have to try. Oh, I'll be able to do some shopping with my posh DIY moonshot bag if I can get this in. Oh no. Can I just shove it in? It'll get all crumpled though. But what's the point of having that if... Oh. I don't know. If you know how to work this bag, please do comment and let me know because I'm hopeless at things like that. <laughs> Life's too short. <laughs> anyway, that was a nice surprise. Okay, now I've got a teeny -a box. Oh gosh, right, let's hope I can get this one open well. <laughs> well, I said it was an unboxing. What more do you want? <laughs> right, this one looks easier. Oh my goodness, a smaller box and a smaller kit. <laughs> it's like one of those, you know, trick presents where you get a massive box and each box you open, the present gets smaller and smaller. <laughs> it's like that. <laughs> Quite a lot of packaging. Anyway, here we are. This is the kit. I'm sure it doesn't get any smaller than this. Oh dear me, it's just tickled me that. Anyway, here we are. The free kit is, it's a rainbow, diamond and moon picture. There we are, isn't that cute? Oh, is it supposed to go that way? I don't know, I think I'd have it that way round. Um, so again, bright colours in this one, in like the stripy rainbow. Lovely, it's got 14 colours on it. It's a 20 by 20, let's test that, with my rainbow tape measure. <laughs> yeah, it is 20. 20 by 20. What a fun little free kit. And that would be great for a beginner to have a go with. Uh, it is that way round look because the symbols are printed that way. Yeah, that's the way that I think I would put it. So DMS white on rainbow, 20 by 20. And oh, they've done it again. The double symbols, one AB and one not AB. It must, is it a thing? It must be a thing that they do. Uh, so we've got capital letters all the way. Really clear. Now I notice on this one that there are no grid lines. So I think this might be around. And looking at that there, it looks kind of round. Right, let's have a look and see. How cute. Oh, we've got exactly the same toolkit as we had previously. Everything is the same, even the colour of the squidgy. And a really cute pack of diamonds. Again, with the paper insert. Showing the picture. 14 colours. Again, one bag of each. We've got the sum of the amount of diamonds in each bag. We've got the DMC code and we've got the symbol code and then one to 14. Okay, let's have a 
have a look. Yep, they are round diamonds. Again, really pretty colours. We've got a mid purple 155. 472, which is a subdued lime green. A mid blue 799. Ooh, a bright green 912. 3607 is a bright pink. Ooh, maybe I should try and line them up in order. Um, a bright teal, 959, 964, a paler bright teal, 3849 is a darker teal, 3766 is a pale turquoise, 3806 is the bright pink. 3805 is the darker bright pink. 3838 is a mid blue. And then we've got our 5200, which is white, and the AB version as well. So I think it is a choice thing. The weight is exactly the same. So perhaps they do this so you can choose if you want to use the ABs or not. That's my guess. I think that's really actually quite clever thing to do because not everybody would love ABs. Interesting, really, really interesting. That is such a cute kit. That could be one for the children to do as well have a go at, you know, rather than letting them let loose on your big diamond paintings. That would be great. These rounds don't look as staticky as the squares. Let's have a quick look at one. Again, I'll use my Diamond Art Club tray. Yeah, they're not staticky. So there you are. Really sparkly, bright. Those rounds look very uniform as well. Let's take a look at the ABs. Mm, little bit of static. Oh, that is such a pretty AB. I can see greens and pinks and blues. And again, very uniform in size. Really nice. Thank you DIY Moonshot for my bag, quite chuffed with that and for my free kit. Keen to get going with this and seeing what that is all about. If you've enjoyed the video, please give me a like, give me a subscribe. It's always much appreciated and I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, enjoy your own diamond painting. Take care. Bye.